And we thank uh, Jesse Mitchell for her reporting there because we were talking uh, during her piece briefly about the history there and, and so many things uh, can be seen still and have been seen over the years, Craig. Everyone knows the Apollo oh, Theater. Absolutely. Refurbish. Don't necessarily, you know, redo, but yeah. refurbish. That's okay. That's okay. All places could use a little, uh, a little sprucing up. But temperatures right now are out there around 70 degrees under a partly to mostly cloudy sky. There are showers starting to approach now and they are already starting to enter and break uh, or develop I should say into portions of northwest sections of New Jersey shower chance is on the rise for the next several hours but it'll be a bright finish the day will dry out completely and it turns very pleasant for the next several days after that uh, temperatures have been very close to where they should be for the last couple uh, last couple days around here upper 70s low 80s we'll do it again today tomorrow Tuesday the end of the week summertime hits though there is the chance of rain as we said for today minimal minimal pop-ups chance for a sprinkle of uh, on Monday and Tuesday that is and then otherwise through the mid portion of the week all looks good and at Yankee Stadium for later this evening by then all showers are out of here. It's in the mid-70s, and uh, skies will be clearing, or clear, actually, by then. But for the parade, here we go. And you can see these are not heavy at all, but they're, they're starting to develop ahead of the front here, right through Sussex, Warren, Morris County, too, on down to Somerset. A few light showers, and they're making their way towards the city. So again, the parade's starting at 11 o'clock, but folks are starting to get out there now, and these showers have to move on through. They're not steady, they're not heavy, but uh, do bring the umbrella, perhaps, if you want, and by the end of the afternoon, or by the end of the parade, you'll be using the sunglasses, I'll bet. Uh, here's the chance for showers for this afternoon, or for the morning, I should say, by this afternoon. It starts to move on out. Tomorrow, it's another very comfortable comfortable day. Remember yesterday? Beautiful. And that's what we're going to have for tomorrow for the most part. And the same thing on Tuesday with just a spotty, spotty shower popping up during the late day or evening hours. The one thing that we have to be concerned with is not just the temperature at the end of this week, but the humidity, which will be low now for the next couple of days, does go up. And when you start taking 85 to 90 degrees and combining it with two points between 60 and 65, that is not all that comfortable. So it looks like as we go through this week, we're going to find temperatures getting to that level and making it feel like summer. Now, I checked the last, uh, the warmest we've had so far this year was actually 87 at the end of April, one time. And then there were two times, I believe, in the month of May that we hit 84. Last time we hit 90, you go back to September 8th of last year. Well, there we go. At the end of this week, there is that chance of getting to the 90 degree mark at the end of the uh, at the end of the week. Um, again, for the parade, though, the folks that are out there, you might want to take the umbrella, you know, for a brief shower over the next couple hours. Just in case. Yep. All right, Greg, okay. thank you.